Hello and welcome to day two of the National Hunt here at Inktree, where later on we'll have the Grand National. But we've got 12 races for you here. Uh, myself and Martin will be commentating them in a flip-flop, as some of the horses do when leading. But uh, let's have a quick look at the races that we've got. So we're going to start with the DMPC Handicap Hurdle, which is a 2 mile 4. It's a 0 110 hurdle. And top weight there will be Fight the Power for Leon Van Rensburg. And you've got some uh, further down the weights than I think will do better. Little Apple for Carl Arrogante. Looks good. One in its last last time out. Uh, Zolano beat for Alex Cherry. Although uh, ground conditions are not ideal for those two. Then we're going to move on to the Aintree Grabber Win Hurdle, which is another handicap. It's a 0 to 100. I think it's a 0 to 100 handicap. Nice field there. Not a lot of form about lobbying for Carl Arrogante. Uh, came second last time out. Spring Collection's got a win there for Kevin Meanhand. Two back. The rest of the field look a little bit sketchy at best, so maybe one of those two could pick it up. Then we move on to the Mersey Novices Hurdle, which is race 15 on your card, which is a two mile four grade two. Nice little small field here for seven going to post. Meandre for Paul Rhodes, looking to make up for the disappointment last week at Cheltenham. Gladriel's nurse, a winner at Cheltenham for David Robertson. Deer Hunter came in third last week. Then we've got Bayon Princess for Darren Thompson, Abraxis for Leon Van Rensburg, Thesis for Molly at Surfer, and Ride on Pony for Martin Leader. But you've got to be really looking at the top two there of Meandre and Gladriel's nurse. Race 16 is the Mag Hall Novices Chase. This is a two mile grade two novice chase. It's worth £120,000. Got nine going to post. Couple in there. Uh, nothing that's one last time out. A couple with some good form. A play school for Martin Edom came first and second over its last couple of races. North Wind of Paul Rhodes. His last four races been no worse than second. So be looking to get in the winner's enclosure again. And then we've got the perfect match from Joshua Sutherland. Hasn't had particularly good form over the last couple of weeks, but probably looking to bounce back. Then we move on to race 17, the penultimate before the Grand National. And it's the Aintree Hurdle. It's a group one over two and a half miles. And you've got the unbeaten Attorney General in there for Paul Rhodes over its previous four starts. Followed by the right stuff of Joshua Southern that won last week at Cheltenham. Kumadath of Darren Thompson. Doug's Plastic Paradise of Stu Gray, who's beaten a couple of these before, but didn't run at all well at Cheltenham. Got Pit Pocket for Leon Van Rensburg. Black Benny for Molly at Surfer. Eskimo Jane for David Robertson. And Holly West for Graham Clutterbuck. That will then move us on to the Grand National and we've done a little uh, pin stickers guide that you can hear just before the beginning of the race so I'll skip past that one. After the National we've got the John Smith's Handicap Chase, a three mile one furlong. It's worth £70,000. A really nice big field here. You can put a couple in. Plenty of trainers have got a couple at the top of the end. The top of the weights is going to be Sounds of the Marina for Darren Thompson and that's going to be followed by the 98 for Joshua Sutherland who was unlucky last week unseating his rider. Run and skips from John Morgan rated 146. Major Barris for Darren Thompson and got top two in the top four, rated 140. If we look further down, we've got Ashton of James Follis falling the last couple of starts, but usually does well in these uh, slightly sort of mid distances. And we've got Allgate Put for Carl Arrogante looking to return to form. Hawthorne of James Follis, winner last week, and then moving right down towards the bottom half, we've got Napoleon Gray for Stu Gray, who ran on really well last week to come third in the Kim Muir. A uh, nice low weight he's got of 111, rated 111. And then down right at the bottom, we've got Uncle Bunch of Serious Chill. Reflect, he's a rarity for Doug. And Japan over the air for Doug Warren, so good luck in that. I think that's going to be fairly open race. Then race 20 on your card. It's going to be the handicap, the hurdle version of the John Smiths. It's a two mile handicap hurdle. Again, a nice big field here. Charge along. Top of the weights is actually Russian Fox Bat of Martin Leader. Come nowhere in its previous four starts. So uh, been unlucky to be rated 130. Below him is Joshua Sutherland on uh, a 128 rated horse game set match. If we go further down, I suppose Indy Allgate will be looking to get some more form. If a car arrogant, he didn't go particularly well at Cheltenham last week. Further down, you've got Rough Silk of Kevin Meanahan running off 110, which will have a chance second last time out. Had some form previous. Daniel French is magic free. Looks like it might stick its head in front. And then I think the favourite for the race could well be Maidstone made for Graham Clutterbuck. But comes in here of a nice... Uh, Rating of 101, a winner last week. I think in a start as orders qualifier. But uh, anyone that could win that one too, it's a pretty open race. That moves us on to 21, which is the National Hunt Flat Race. Over two mile one furlong. Uh, probably going to be between its all in the hips and pawn stars. They'll battle it out, maybe one and two again. Although Leon's got small fry in there, which has got some really good form in its previous three starts. It's come second uh, twice and third. You know, we'll be looking to go that one step better. 
and try and take this one. Then we move on to race 21, which is the last race here at Aintree, which will be the National Hunt flat, the bumper over two mile one furlong. It's all in the hips looking to follow up from its win at Cheltenham last week and Porn Stars looking to re reverse the order. And I imagine it will probably be between those two. Small fry for Leon Rens Rensberg down towards the bottom has got some good form. And maybe we'll give uh, It's All in the Hips and Port Stars a run for their money. That will then move us on to Cheltenham. We go back there for a Group 2 handicap chase over 2 mile 5 furlongs. It's a silver trophy chase. Top of the weights on the chase there. Wild Bill for Paul Rhodes. Fell last week. Radiant 162. And then he's got the second uh, weight in there, legally yours. Which is going to be racing off of... 16 pounds lower so I think Wild Bill is going to put a lot of these out of the handicap here I think uh, we're talking really anybody under uh, 130 which is only the top five everybody else is going to be out of the handicap so uh, good luck to anybody in that one and then race 23 which will be our penultimate of the day is going to be the OLBG Mayor's handicap hurdle at Cheltenham over two mile five furlongs fairly open field with the hurdlers top weight there will be zombie for Joshua Sutherland not sure he's uh, confident with that one with being top weight and then we've got Jessica Rabbit for Martin Leadham and Bread and Butter for Derek Hinton. But I think if we look further down the field, Knack for Graham Clutterbuck's probably got a chance and Lily Lightning for David Robertson. And then the last race of our day, still at Cheltenham, and it's the Origa Novices Chase. It's a three mile one furlong. Just six going to post there. The eight's the ground for Joshua Sutherland. Celestial Lights for John Morgan. Mayor Days of Darren Thompson. State of Control Leon Van Rensburg will win a last time out. The Aristocrat for Kevin Meanhan and Summertime Blue for Derek Hinton. I think my money will be on Celestial Lights for John Morgan to get in the winner's enclosure. Well, that's it for the week. I hope you enjoyed the day. Good luck at the Grand National a little bit later. And I'll catch up with you all tomorrow.